And welcome back. This is Mega Blade J with more my Let's Play of Sorcery Saga 3, The Ultimate Queen for the Sega Game Gear. So, last time, we actually beat a boss, and we got our hands on what is known as the Magic Cannon, which is basically a gigantic magic bazooka that is powered by Carby's little ruble crack thingy. So, I am now back here on the fifth floor of the labyrinth. Uh, do I have items? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good on that. So I have no... where else to go except for here, so let's give this a shot. From the other side of the wall, you hear the bellow of a bull. Alright. Let's try the magic cannon. Bam. Here I go. Charge! Ah, oh, there he is. Minotauros let out a war cry. This is a tough one. Get out of my way, you overgrown bull. It's Rulu I want. Miss Rulu gave me a simple order. You... You must die. Wow, the puns are horrible. God. You must die. That is horrible. God. Alright. So I'm wondering... Will Dia Cutie also work on the magic cannon too? I'm wondering. Guess it's item right quick. Pickles. Yeah. One more time. I I'm not sure how many times I can do that actually. Okay, and let's just use item one more time. Now then let's try this. Oh. Oh, I guess that does count as using it. What? That sucks. Oh, wow. Even after all that, he's still alive? Jeez. Man, I thought that would like took about like one hit, but I guess not. Okay, almost got him. So I'm hoping I fight him again, because even though how painful his um how painful his uh jokes are, it would still like really liven up up the dungeon, I think. Item. Mm, 
take this. Oh, wait, what? He repels your magic with his yell? How does, how does that even work? He repels magic with, with a yell. That makes no sense. Gotcha. Minotaurus is knocked out. Yay! And look at my dogs. Level up. We did it, Carby. Carby? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Um, eek. I, th God, that was kind of, wow. Ooh, that was, uh, that was not nice. So I guess I should probably, um, be a bit more careful when using the magic cannon, I guess. I guess it does kind of, like, suck the magic out of my I suppose. Heh <laughs> Oops. Oh no! Carby's all shriveled up. Was it the magic cannon? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what should I do? Hang in there, Carby. Ooh, yeah, um... Let's go back. Oops, dang it. Okay, where is the shop? So let's buy some more pickles. I basically use up all my dang stuff there. Okay, that should be about it, I think. Yeah, okay, it should be fine now. But yeah, I am hoping that I do run into him again. Or at least some more characters, because once again, the best parts of this game are when you're interacting with people. There, nothing there. Okay, it's a dead end. There we go. Oh, I can't go back. Great. Oh dear! Your Rubo crack looks spent. Is there a way to heal Carby? Please, you have to tell me. Let me think. Oh yes, he should be fine if he eats the golden veggie. Ribbit. Where can I find that? Sorry, I don't know, Ribbit. Thanks anyway. At least I know what to look for. Bye. Oh. The heck am I? Um... What the? Two twin cat sniffs spring at you. Huh. That's different. So I guess I gotta find some kind of... Wait, what? Before your eyes, the infinite space can't have space without spaceships. Wait, what? And can't have spaceships without warps. That's right. This is a warp maze. What the heck? Um, this is the dark zone? I didn't want to go here yet. I, I still wanted to, like, Explore the other area first. Can I go back? Please? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, so that room right there is the warp zone. And what? 
what is uh, the puns they burn they burn so badly a sheep dirt oh god Ugh. I gotta admit, that's one combination of sheep I never saw before. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Fine. Huh. Okay, so it's not, it's pretty strong, actually. And I cannot remember my dang it. Finally, geez, thank you. Well, on the plus side, he's not eating all my stuff now. So that's good. Okay. Why do you have an empty chest there? Okay, yeah, but um, I am hoping that we'll have some more interactions with people, because that is the best part of this game, when you're like up against people and talking to people and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. So, I might do a bit of grinding to get past this area, maybe. You guys seem pretty fast. Oh, I'm back here again. Okay, so that little area leads to that. So let's go straight. And this way. Okay, nothing, nothing that way. Okay, new area. Oh wow, a lot of doors. So, in other news, uh, today they did a new Pokemon, um, at the time of this recording, they did a new Pokemon, uh, Direct today, and they showed off a bunch of new Pokemon that are gonna be, uh, in the new, uh, I think it was a pass I think they're doing, like a paid DLC pass. Did I save? I don't think I saved. So yeah, they're doing a battle pass system or something or... Okay, why is there so many empty, empty things here? But yeah, so it's gonna have like over... 200 new Pokemon, adding in new areas to explore. I mean, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the game yet, but it does look pretty cool. Last Pokemon game I played was actually, um, uh, what, 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 wait, wait, what, 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 what just happened? What the, the chest just left on its own. Who knows where it went? Oh, maybe, maybe I gotta chase it? Okay, I'm assuming there's something special here. 
So that was kind of a what the heck moment. So maybe that chest is somewhere else. I gotta chase it down to see if it has a good item in it, maybe? That was weird, though. That's on the wall. Here, look, is held. Oh, yes, I will take that. Thank you. I'll eat that. Yummy. Yeah, so it doesn't warn you all the time anymore. Run away. Run away. Okay, there are a lot of empty rooms here, so I'm going to assume that I need to actually chase down that chest and catch it because it's somewhere else here in this room, I think. At least that's what I am thinking. This way. And cats. More, more of a dog person myself, but cats are okay, I guess. I always like dogs more. They're like, I don't know, cats always seem a bit more snobbish to me. Thank you. Okay, nothing over here. Yeah, so there's way, way too many dead ends in this area. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to find the treasure chest somewhere around here. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, we got a Shining Horse Tail. So, let's see, what does that do? Um, where is it? Or is it like a key item? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it in here, so I am going to assume it is a key item. Okay then. In that case, there's still one more thing I want to do this- Wait, what the hell? Wait, what the hell? Wait. Wait, what? Um... So I guess whatever that was, it like, allowed me to, um, see where the monsters are. Okay, so they're not, they're not completely random, they're like, um, 
I guess they move along with when you move. Interesting. So it is possible to avoid fights then. I didn't I did not know that. Huh. Well that's actually gonna be pretty darn useful to be honest. Just kill you right quick. Yep. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, I did a little bit of grinding. Okay, yeah, so that... Interesting. Very interesting. So now I can avoid monsters. Cool. But there is one last thing I want to do before I end this video here. I was looking on my map, and I happened to notice something very interesting. Right above us, there's a little blank spot here. So I know the previous two games had like hidden areas, and you had to collect three certain items to be able to advance to the last part of the game. So I, I don't think I've gotten any of those yet, so I wonder if that's one. So I'm going to save right quick. And just in case, I'm going to put down this. So now, let's go up. Oh! A yellow Puyo is here. Is a hidden boss something? It doesn't look hostile. In fact, it looks like a steamed bun. Hello, I'm Puyo Man. Pu Puyo Puyo Man. I'll be sold starting January 1995 in. Okay, uh, Miyajima. Hiroshima. I'm delicious, so come by me. The Puyo Man leaves. What the heck was that? That Arl, I believe, was an in-game advertisement for what I'm assuming is going to be what what was Puyo themed bread, I think. Wow, that was in-game advertising. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. Interesting. If I move one... Huh. Neat. Okay. So I'm gonna cut off here. Um, when we get, when we come back, we'll be inside the dark zone. I'm going to do a little bit more grinding to make this a little faster, and uh, once again, I want to thank all, you, all of you for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, bye.